So what is the name of your bet? This is Spencer Jr. This is Princess Yue. This is Wing Nona Flyer. My bet's name is Bartok. His name is Charles. Desdemona. Wherever I come, I've had luck. Just come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. His daddy stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. So today is August 12th, a couple of days before Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, and it is also the birthday, the official birthday, of the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. So this is a big day. This is also our first Grim Life video here inside the park. First of many, and we're going to try to do it a little bit differently. And there's so much going on. It is an event called Haunt the Park. We're going to be going inside Memento Mori to talk about some of the things they have in there and point out some ghostly secrets. But for now, let's go and check out the Haunted Mansion. This is much better. <laughs> so the queue line is an interactive queue line here at the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World and they just opened. Right now they're having a little bit of a delay so we got permission to just kind of walk through and take a look at everything now these are the busts there's a birdie over here aunt florence uncle jacob the twins and cousin maude now what's interesting about this these guys is if you read the little limerick the little poem the epitaph at the bottom on the base under their names it is a murder mystery in the interactive part you got to try to figure out what the who killed who and what the story is here in the queue line they have tombstones like such that are that pay homage or honor the imagineers who've worked on them and this is our friend Britain so who is this one this for is Mark Davis he was the lead designer for the attraction he did most of the imagineering uh, painted the famous portraits in the stretch room and a lot of the paintings all came out. So he's kind of, um, he's called Walt Disney's Renaissance. He also did a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean as well. Very um, cool. Here you have Francis Xavier who wrote the music for The Haunted Mansion, the famous song that we all know and love. They call him X. Yes. He also did the music X for, yeah, <laughs> he also did the music for Pirates of the Caribbean yes. and the voice for the, the, the guy in the, in the casket. So this is a bit of a musical instrument, the Haunted Mansion Disney style. And all you gotta do is touch the instruments and they play. Magical, haunting, Disney. It's wild. Such a sunny day. Good lighting. Right? Now what's funny is, as sunny and as hot as it is here in Florida today, in probably about two hours it's going to rain, right. <laughs> and then it's just going to disappear, the rain, and you won't even know. Oh, I can't see Ravenscroft. Does it, does it play? It does. These all used to shoot out little air jets, now only a couple spots do like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Such a beautiful little centerpiece to all this. It's funny he has such a small like plot as opposed to everyone else, and I always thought it was because he'd spent and ran out of all his money. This is all they have left. That's my theory. So here lies Captain Cole Pepper Klein. Allergic to dirt, so he's pickled in brine. He braved the sea in all her wrath, but drowned on land while taking a bath. Now this one is a little bit dangerous because if you get close to it and it feels like it, you will get wet. I don't want to get wet. Huh. Oh geez. He's going to sneeze. Nope. Anticlimactic. Oh, over here in one of the corners is the famed ring, the wedding ring or engagement ring. Uh, we've seen so many people come here and look for this and ask where it's at. And we've pointed out a few times to different people, but it is here in the queue line. Usually there's a trash can over by this way, but you gotta have to look for it if you don't know where it's at. So from cast members as well as visitors, there's all kinds of legend and lore to why that ring is there. But in all actuality, it used to be part of a fence gate in the beginning that was eventually torn out and then it had this little tiny ring there and then it was removed and the piss ticked a lot of people off. I'm gonna leave that one in. Ticked a lot of people off and then they put this here and it's a permanent ring for people to look at. Now this is a interactive library of sorts here in the queue line where you can actually push on the books. Now from what I heard, it is a code that you can decipher this stuff right here and it actually says something. Now you can go online and you can look and see what that code is, what that deciphering is, what the message is, but you can try to figure it out while you're here. Bats, coffin, singing bus, shovel, 13 and key. What does it say? Sweet! Hera had taken a cruise to Manila. She was thrown overboard by a angry monkey's uncle. This is driving me ape. Gorilla? Gorilla is it. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Well, maybe not for Hannah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Muses. Let's do another. Just kind of walking through. Now there's one thing I really, really want to point out on the other side, and uh, it's over here, these final tombstones. Of course, there's Leota over in that way, and everybody pays attention to that, but we noticed that if you look way up there on that hill, about your center of your screen, is a tombstone that says Ezra. So up here on the hill are some tombstones way up here that you can't really see unless you look. More specifically, there's Phineas, there's Ezra and Gus is over here to the right, right there. Now, if you don't know who those are, then I am going to have to say you're really not a Haunted Mansion fan because those are the hitchhiking ghosts, which we found out that those weren't even really the names that Disney gave them. They were names that guests, fans of the Haunted Mansion gave them, but they're way up here on top of the hill, kind of just overlooking all of Disney, the guests, 
and the mansion itself. So those are like four cast members who either left, passed away. I think they put it in after um, we had a girl commit suicide here a few years ago. Oh, and, and that's they put it up here. Oh, that's 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 a nice little thing for them. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of get that feeling where if you're haunted mansion, you're haunted mansion for life. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> And of course, there is Madame Leota's tombstone herself. Now, if you watch close enough and are here long enough, but not too long, you will see her eyes open. And her head move. She's got pretty eyes. So at the end of the Haunted Mansion near the unload, in between the unload and the stretching rooms, there is the VIP hallway. And they have some things in here that you really don't get to see. And nobody really talks about unless you ask for that, ask to see it. These are the servant bells. See some here, there's Master Gracie's bedchamber, Uncle Davis sleeping salon. It's a pretty cool. Seeing if one bell. And on the other side of the hallway here are keys to some of the rooms in the mansion. Pretty wild. But once you get off the ride and come out of unload, there are mausoleums with some interesting, fun dead people's names on it. as well as the giant mausoleum of the loving wives. Seven winsome wives, some fat, some thin, six of them were faithful, but the seventh did him in. And of course, at the very end is the funeral carriage. No coffin inside, but there are some flowers. I don't know if you can see it. And there's me, hello, with the ghost horse. I don't know if the ghost horse even has a name, but you can come over here and you can pet him. Let's pet the ghost horse. <sighs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. There you go. Yeah, a little backwards. Usually there's a photo pass photographer right here. So whenever you're done riding the haunted mansion and you come out, off of unload by the mausoleums. Make sure you come over this way, hit up the PhotoPass photographer to get a picture right here in front of the mansion. And they also have photo um, magic fo magic shots, which are really cool. You can join and become one of the hitchhiking ghosts. And the pet cemetery here in Walt Disney World. A lot of loving pets who were once part of the mansion, but there's also that guy right in about the center of your screen. <laughs> Who's Mr. Toad? This is the homage. There used to be a ride over in Fantasyland that was uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, but now that it's not here, and he is technically dead, I guess you would say, he is part of the Haunted Mansion Pet Cemetery. And there he resides, so make sure you stop and look up on the hill as well. Well, let's go see what kind of spooky goodies Memento Mori has. Different figurines like this, the stretching portraits, they are pretty pricey. But I feel that they should be part of our collection in our house. Including the infamous hot box ghost. So it's the Tomb Sweet Tomb coaster set. And if you take the coffin lid off, 
Dear sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, but having a ball. Do they say anything different? Each individual one. Yeah, here lies good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. They're just like the tombstones. Man, we need everything. Dear departed brother Dave. He chased a bear into a cave. Is there one more? One more. There you go. Master Gracie laid to rest. No morning, please, at his request. Now, I am more of a fedora wearer, but if I wore baseball caps, I would like to get one of these ghost host hats, but it's really art for me. Different books. This one here is the entire comic book, all in a hardback, which is really nice. We've been meaning to get that, still haven't yet. And this one here is a children's book, which includes a CD with the popular song. I'm guessing the popular song is Grim Grinning Ghosts. I like that. Huh. These are new luggage tags. Ghost will follow you home. And if you are a beer drinker or any kind of glass bottle, the Hatbox Ghost bottle opener. Another thing that I would really like for my collection are these keys. I am a key collector. I am the key master, the gatekeeper. These ears are new as well here at the Haunted Mansion. The dress has been here for a while. It's a very pretty dress. They even make board games. There's Life Haunted Mansion. Well, we have Clue Tower of Terror. We also have this one as well. We have yet to play it. And we just picked up the Haunted Mansion playing cards the other day from Disney Springs. You can pretty much buy all kinds of Haunted Mansion merchandise here. One of the things that I've wanted for quite some time is this coffin, this Haunted Mansion coffin, which is actually a pen. And that's pretty cool. What is this, a jewelry box? Mm -hmm. That's really actually really nice. Oh, it's a music box as well. That's really nice. So another thing that is hidden, for the most part, inside Memento Mori sits back here on these shelves. And they, I don't think not many people know about these. There's the Certificate of Verification for the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. Is that was a uh, opening? Uh, yes, so these are the original, this is what Disneyland knew. So instead of having a, uh, a ticket for the whole park, you bought a ticket for um, and then they just ripped it out. So this is a ticket that they would rip out to go on the Mansion. Now is this brass or is this copper? Um, or I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it says on that. <laughs> And the other thing that they have, and I really like, is this Leota. It's not really a pin, it's a coin, a medallion from Memento Mori, Certificate of Verification. Absolutely beautiful. 999 Happy Haunts t-shirt. I, you know what? Ultimately, I, I just wish that I can, we can get a shirt that was black that says something like that instead of the typical. This is an old retired shirt. That's a t-shirt. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, wow. And if you move... So he's Master Gracie over here, and if you move, he becomes a skeleton. Check it out. Yeah, I love that. That's See, little things you never really notice. There's even a mirror on the wall that if you look at it just the right angle, at just the right time, you can see Madame Leota staring and then she disappears back into the Haunted Mansion. Also here inside Memento Mori, you can get some spirit photography done. Where you go inside the room, and they take your picture, and it turns out like this. So for me, the Haunted Mansion here at Disney is was honestly my first impression of what a haunted house is. My first impression of ghosts and everything spooky and scary. So everything that I have seen since my 
early childhood going on the attraction, I always compare to the Haunted Mansion, so it is the staple for me in the whole spooky haunted genre. The Haunted Mansion really opened up my mind to the darker things in life and actually was the beginning of me now. Um, I was a very close-minded child, but began accepting more people after experiencing the Haunted Mansion and how fun the creepy things can be. So the Haunted Mansion for me um, is my favorite ride at Disney um, because growing up I always kind of had a thing for the creepy things and um, even though I don't show it in my, the way that I dress usually, I always have loved like horror movies, but one of my favorite movies has always been The Haunted Mansion, even with like with Eddie Murphy, and it was fantastic. And that's what I knew of The Haunted Mansion before I ever came on the ride, because I never went to, I've never been to Disney until I was like a full grown adult. Um, but knowing that there was a ride that the movie that I love so much was based off of kind of um, sparked a lot, like one of the reasons that I wanted to move to, Dis or to Orlando in the first place. Oh, this is awesome. So just but keep this it is going. A, a video picture. So there's no picture picture. It's going to be pulling a still from the 4K image. So just take a stance and just stand there. Tell me one the match. Fabulous. Can see everyone? Yes. All right. All right. Ready? One, two, three. It's coming my way wherever I go Hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way 